to sing and speak in at least three or four languages. Filmed entirely on location, Monte Carlo revolves around a cabaret singer played by Joan Collins, who's also a spy for the British Allies. It takes place at the time when um, the Germans were invading all the European countries. So Monte Carlo was full of all these fascinating people, a lot of spies, a lot of um, intriguing people, a lot of people who were trying to get out of Europe, some Americans who were just there. And she is trying to help them, but she can't let on to anybody. That's what she's doing. The wartime theme of Monte Carlo brought back childhood memories for the English-born actress. I spent many nights in England sleeping in air raid shelters and going to school the next day and picking up bits of bombs and seeing bomb, bombed out buildings and whole streets destroyed and some of my parents' friends were killed. Collins hit it big last season with Sins, and she's hoping to equal that success by using many of the same crew. We have the same costumer, we have the same lighting director, the same crew, the same production crew, the same makeup and hair people, the same everything. With the, we even have two of the, three of the same actors. So um, hopefully it will be as good. Collins will once again be acting behind the camera as well as in front. She's the co-executive producer, which isn't the easiest of roles to play. See this ravaged, exhausted face? It's very difficult. I have to say, um, it's difficult because I can't just concentrate on acting. I, um, I have to think about all the elements that go into a production. One of the main problems we have in the scheduling is getting me finished in time to get back to Dynasty. And that is a big, big problem because there, I have a lot to do in this and um, very little time to do it. In it's Katrina Petrovna part-time entertainer and full-time spy during the Second World War. I wanted her to have a lot of mystery, which is rather difficult for me since I have none whatsoever. Always something that I've wanted to have. Like Dietrich had mystery, like um, all of the old movie stars had mystery. Harry, I agreed to have dinner with you on the condition that you ask me no questions and I'll tell you no lies. In addition to starring in Monte Carlo, Collins acted as executive producer, along with her husband, Peter Holm. Well, first of all, it worked so well last time when we did Sins and we got along so well and we had such a good project that we decided to get married. Um, this time, I, it worked, I think, equally as well, if not better, because um, I got Peter into the movie playing my husband, who was murdered by the Gestapo. When we came to casting this part, we said we'd like to have Paul Newman and we'd like to have Robert Redford and we'd like to have Robert Wagner, but we figured that they wouldn't really want to work for a day and a half. And I suddenly looked at this sort of good-looking blonde that I'm married to, and I said, you, you would be perfect if we can cut your hair. He says, I'm not going to cut my hair as we stuck it up under a hat. Well, now that he's had a taste of the grease pan, is he looking for his own series? No way, no way, no, no, I could never be married to an actor again. One of us in the family is enough. Collins enjoys the control she has working on her own projects, which adds to the talk that she'll leave Dynasty when her contract ends in 1988. You're a hateful man, Blake. You always were, and you always will be. I said get out. It just it depends on how I feel. I've, it's gone so fast, this five and a half years, and I've enjoyed it so much that it would be a pity to say goodbye, but eventually all good things come to an end rest of the south of France anymore because of all those high-rise buildings. I mean, there, it looks a bit like New York skyline, whereas the rest, of the, the rest of the south of France hasn't changed, I don't think, since 1940. And so we're basically shooting in Antibes, Montan, uh, in Nice, and up and down that wonderful part of the coastline, which to me is just the most beautiful part of the coast in the world, and to me is the most fantastic place in the whole world. I, I can't imagine anywhere that I would rather shoot than on the Riviera. Nowhere. Nowhere. As producer and star of Monte Carlo, Joan set up camp at the Belle Epoque Messina Mansion. It was the perfect backdrop for the Riviera adventures. Nice has always been a party capital of the world, and one time, every day, started with champagne. Well, I was very lucky because it only used up six weeks of actual shooting time, so I had six weeks of play and six weeks of work which I think is the ideal combination. Of course, I do go back now to nine months of work. It's actually like going back for a school term. Nine months. Either have a baby or go to, go to a school. But Joan's Baby was the $12 million series in which she plays a glamorous Marta Hari entertainer. As you know, although I love the character of Alexis, 
um, and I think she's been very good to me. I think that too much of a good thing goes over the top. So with the character of Katrina Petrovna, half Russian, half English, famous chanteuse, and also super sleuth spy, uh, I think that I have changed the image of the Alexis character, at least for this miniseries. And I did that also in, in Sins with Helene. Joan took me on the closed set of Monte Carlo for an exclusive behind-the-scenes lifestyles look with Lisa Arlbacher, Malcolm McDowell, Lauren Hutton, and George Hamilton. The man with the permanent tan couldn't wait to get started. They don't make me up, they polish me like a statue. You know, action! We've already been told to expect 16 to 18 hour days, which is tough. And it's not just the work, it's having to look all the time pretty. The crew can go around, sweat and, uh, you know, mussy. I can't. And, uh, and that's really the thing that takes its toll after 12 hours, is because you, you are tired and you are sweating and you want to just lie down and collapse. You can't. And she didn't. Even with two jobs, energetic Jones set a work pace that left the cast and crew in awe of her stamina. There's nobody like Jones. There must be twins, because nobody can spend all night up, all day, look fabulous, know her lines, be at every party, be witty, be bright, rewrite scripts, and produce. And I know I've done both sides of this. I produced and acted. And Joan just sort of does it and then says, now, I've got to stop, darling, today, because it's my day off, and I have to have a wonderful time, and I intend to have a great time, and everybody around her starts having a party. I think I better order something before I faint from flattery. And at the mention of food, it was time for cast and crew to break for a typical French lunch where everyone let their hair down. We have wonderful lunches. You like that especially, Robin. They have wine with every meal. And it comes in handy, I'll tell you that. During the break, Lisa and her mandate went on a shopping spree. George gave me the super deluxe lifestyles tour of his trailer. So this is uh, Chateau Hamilton on the road in France? Yes, this is used for Swedish campers. And in San Maxime, you can come. Perfectly have butane here. It's perfectly well worked out. I have a roast in the oven at the very moment here. I have all sorts of magical creams and things to do. And we're doing a fish, a bouillabaisse over here. You can see lunch has just been finished here. No paper plates to spare and vitamins. After lunch, right back to lights, camera, action. Also, it's a very intimate scene, so if we could have people from yes. out of the way. Tell me, Umberto, what's it like to command thousands of men? I should have thought you could have slept better than I. There's one main man in Joan's life, husband Peter Holmes, co-producing by day and at night turning the Riviera into a lover's playground. They bought a villa in Saint-Tropez, complete with luxury speedboat. Peter took our cameras for a Mediterranean spin. I water skied the first week that we were here and hurt my knee, which is still hurting. So I'm not about to do that. But we just go out on the boat, sometimes with friends, and sometimes by ourselves, and just cruise around and look at the coast. We'll go to a beach, we'll go to some other friend's boat. Just, we don't have any plans to do things particularly. It's just so terribly relaxing. Those lucky enough to know the real Joan Collins know her best times are spent out of the bright lights, where she can be with her family and make her famous spaghetti sauce. I started making my sauce yesterday morning, then I let it simmer for a while, went out on the boat for about five hours and came back and served it up that night. But I like to do that sometimes. Um, but then I'm a Gemini, so I'm different, different sided, but you know that. With shooting over, it was party time and goodbye. When we were packing up yesterday our little house down in Saint-Tropez, and I said, Peter, I cannot believe that we've been here almost three months. I mean, it just seems like yesterday that we arrived. I feel that life is so rich in what it has to offer. I want to do it all, and I, and I want to continue to do it all because I'm still enjoying it. Well, I don't enjoy it, but I don't foresee myself ever not enjoying it, actually. Happy.